Hello guys, so welcome to today's show. My name is Nachos and you're on JFL TV, the home of football. So if today is the first time we can see our program, we are able to bring you the latest Arsenal news update as they drop all over the world. So for now, we'll start with today's news. Our Ben Jacobs will be one of the sports journalists for CBS. Dr. Masakori talks say Arsenal no will go back for Casado with the same amount with them bid for him for this January transfer window. And they can't give you reasons. So, but back on the explain, say, you know, some of that general transfer window, plenty, plenty defensive midfield are not really the available way Arsenal go one get. At least if you say get the choice like you won't pick from the pack, you go do very, very easy get. But for the summer, many, many people go they available that will feel select from. So, for that reason, there is no way where Arsenal will still go offer 80 million for a Casado because there will be spots for options get because Casado in the first place is not worth 80 million pounds. So that is the argument on the front burner. So I don't know, know whether Bryson would like to listen to offers. We know this is the same amount where Arsenal offer them in the past. Now when the summer reach, we will find out. So what does it watch? So today is the birthday of one of our community members, Okolo Jefferson. Yes, yeah, so we say, Baba, today is your birthday, so wish you all the best this life has to offer and just have a blast this or day. I know they name, they do birthday. Even Cedric Osoria himself, today is your birthday, so like usual, we pray for you and we say, May God grant you all your hard desires, get, so wish you all the best things life has to offer and also have a blast this or day. Now get out. So away from that, so Ben Jacobs also come come as a colleague talk say Arsenal never rule out signing Yuri Tillemans get because they still need the guy and the attractiveness of this guy that the fact is going to become a free agent in the summer once the season just end like this you don't turn free agent get so him nobody him or even uh, this guy waiting for Crystal Palace Zaha instead will be free agents what well, this is many many free agents will be available so the thing now all those free agents now where them would like to go get because somebody like you routinely mass and also manchester united are in the running liverpool said they look for players like liverpool won't change a lot of their players because their players don't do old do well somebody like tiago alcantara do not pass like 30 years so players don't do old so they will need to sign more players so i don't know whether Arsenal will still need that you retail them as truth be told. Despite saying the free agent, I no can know whether I will still go for him because you know see now we don't get champions league, we can't get many many options. We won't sign this Zubimendi of Russo say that whether we will see carry on for the summer, I never know. Declan Rice still did the mix and um, uh, Sergej Velikovic Savage still did the mix. It was about yes, Sergej Velikovic Savage, they keenly interested in joining Arsenal because Arsenal, from the look of things, they are going to secure Champions League football after a very, very long while. So, that Champions League football alone, you go make a lot of people come to turn their torchlights on Arsenal. So, okay, Arsenal is an attractive proposition. I would like to join them. Like this guy, they Lazio, Lazio, they don't get any assurance they will go Champions League. And the guy said, won't play Champions League football, just like Yuri Tillemans, just like Declan Rice. So, now, so it just be so. For the summer, we'll be spoiled with choices. So, who will go sign? And also, we'll go see strength over the game. Summer shah, but just watch as everything will turn out. Our William Gala said, Don't come as I call the talk, say, in the very, very worried about Trossard. See, one of the reasons we can be worried about the guy now, the fact that the guy could step up in level. Fine, he was doing very, very well at Brighton, but now you don't come for Brighton, don't come for a higher club. So, the question now is, are you going to replicate your Brighton form or even do better than your Brighton form? But the another thing with the sub for Arsenal, they say he's not the first eleven man yet. Now Martinelli that they use as the first eleven member, you now just like a cover, second eleven. Like if Martinelli needs a rest or needs a breather or needs a breathing space, they will just draft to come inside. So people they even the clamor say they rest Martinelli because he has overplayed. But then play Trossard against Brighton and Brentford because that Trossard, the guy go fit this play, has scored seven goals already. The guy is very very good. So they play. At the same time, Gala is going to talk about Mikado Mudrik. Say Mudrik will regret why he leave Arsenal, can't go join Chelsea because Chelsea no really suit the style of play and now he's struggling in the EPL. Like he no really never really make a mark. But some go say it is still early days. Let's just keep up and watch. So we're going to say everything we wish. I'm even Fabrizio Romano said so Dr. Master Cody talks say Saliba go fi sign in contract this month or next month. Okay, so we we'll keep our fingers crossed. I'm not saying that good news. Now with this news, we many people they expect to hear after Martinelli signing on. So we are expecting the likes of Bukayo Saka 
and uh, this uh, saliva to put pen to paper but it never happened so we'll just watch but i don't say it will happen soon because they're really they're interested and they want to remain at arsenal because come on what else can you ask for staying at the top of the league ah in the epl epl you know we say na liguano or la liga epl we had died so you know it's not gonna say we are in the best club in the league so just stay here let's see how things go I'm a Jimmy Carter guy. Say, come, come, I say, I can't bust everybody. Bring we back on the talk. Say, the things we I think I don't do for us now. Say, Antonio Conte no fit do half of it. Antonio Conte no fit do it. You get because Conte that person be say, you know, some be build team from scratch. You like to go where food done done. Maybe you just chop. You get say, what thing I think I do from the team we meet. I think I don't change almost everybody. The team we meet, so you know, Emery the control. I don't think say the players will remain which five, yes, because I thought I don't buy different players to change the system, can't impose in your style of play and philosophy. So now something we say, continue they do. Check out that sports team now. Continue to be built from scratch, you get. So now what's the attack pass and so by the praise uh at that very well. I miss I like hiding the praise up. So it is what it is. I remember when Conte become England, people they talk to me, make a stango sign, make a stango sign. Well go kinda one that I don't suffer but at the end of the day now. We they reap the fruit of our labor now. Nobody we now we they enjoy them now. Look at Conte now. I'm sure you know but say the news when they come out from Conte side now. The fact say the guy if he exits for that spot, the guy if he come up for that place. Now what's with the year now? And I thought I don't get long term, you know, progress. Come on. Well, it is what it is. I was in Jack Osef Kong Commerce. I couldn't talk about Ateta and Pep Guardiola, the similarities between the two because he don't coach, he don't they don't play under the two of them. So, Baba can say one of the major similarities between the fact the two of them, they like to win. You get if you give them a the chance, they won't win all the games they don't play. You get see that one of the team where you know say they very, very similar between the two of them. They like to win, they like attacking football, they are not defensive minded, and that is why he love two of them. And you know, say like I always say, two of them they share the same blueprints, and that blueprints now successful blueprint, the, the blueprint to success, and that's what we are using this season and is working with us. Remember, I said Kevin De Bruyne not not too long ago came out and said he's seen some similarities with the way they play and train, with the way Arsenal play and train. You get because our number one manager was once a number two manager at the Etihad, so he learned work from Gadula called implement and come add in your flavor, come make everything segment again. So that's what it does be. And away from that, one year said Man City self won't sign Declan Rice. So they would like to sign Declan Rice at the end of the season, and they're also looking for a new left back because of the issue where Pep Guardiola and Cancelo get when they send Cancelo go by Munich. Get so now this Declan Rice is going to command a bidding war from what I'm hearing at the summer. But I know Arsenal, Arsenal are not interested. If you want to join us, you have to make us first choice. You'll be like, if you define school now, you see Unila are going for Lagos. If you put Unila as second choice, or you're on your own. They no go give you admission. They they, they they tout themselves as first choice university. Get that's so it just be asked now. No like second choice. You either join us or join us. Get if you put us a second choice or you is your own. So I believe people like Declan Rice. They will look Arsenal. After all, Declan Rice is a London boy and has some friends in the Arsenal setup. He would say Buka and Saka they be best of friends. And say Saka go down the call up say Alpha can't join us. Now more runs for you. After all, he never play Champions League football. Fine, Man City can give you that, but at least for here, you know we need to go to find new house. Your family you know we need to move again. They you know we need to change schools. You know there are many many things where they decide you get when they want join club. You get so and all those movements of family, all those things they affect the play. Mentality and psyche, so much of the same everything will go on. Now, someone I know for now, very soon now, go reach. I'm going to say, ask now, don't contact Jorge Mendes over and so fatty. Jorge Mendes is a super agent, celebrity agent of Ansu Fati and many many stars. So Ansu Fati now the reason say he won't look for greener pastures out of Barcelona. You can't pay his buyout clause because buyout clause is about one billion pounds. One billion. That is Ansu Fati's buyout clause. So three years they serve and the CEO is having the talk say they still get future for the guy. Even the president, they will talk say that's Juan Laporta. They talk say the guy get future for the club. But at the same time, they can send this to offers like nobody is unsellable. There are no secret cows anybody can be sold after all he is surplus to requirement he stays on the benjamin and he doesn't like where he's staying because shabby don't change in system so uh, before before people like Ansu Fati, Pedri, Gavi, they are all playing again. But now Ansu Fati the language for bench and he doesn't like it because of his potential stars, dumb nature. Again. So this guy won't go join Arsenal. But coming to Arsenal, we are in go play. That's the one million dollar question. Because me, I don't see him in the starting level. So he can't be running from a Benjamin and coming to another Benjamin. So I go B. Do we really need him? These are the questions I'm asking. So let me know your thoughts on the comment section as we proceed. 
So away from that, so the daily record when they let us know say Kerry and Tierney they consider in future for Arsenal because of lack of playing time. Because and really I don't blame them because this goes to show our strength in depth. Because I believe not too long ago, all of us now the clamor say, ah, Kerry and Tierney is going to be one of our future captains because he was one of the untouchables in our first eleven. Before you know, Zinchenko can come inside, can scatter the guy, throw the guy, go drop the guy for the Benjamin. Now he's a second eleven member. He doesn't get much playing time unless maybe Zinchenko know they fit or Zinchenko needs a breather. If everybody they fit, Zinchenko will play ahead of Kiriatin because of what he brings to the team. He adds more bodies to the midfield. So to make Kiriatin enough to do, you can't give what you don't have. So now I make the guy call over Benjamin. So and don't forget that now Man City they don't get issue with Cancelo. And in the past, Man City be the eye Kiriatin. So now I am looking at the situation whereby. In the summer, Man City will contest our resolve for somebody like Kerry and Tierney. Without it to materialize, without it to materialize, I can't really say for now. But anything can happen again. There are no secret cows, we can sell him. It's possible. It gets. I don't know whether they will sell him, but me, I don't put my opinions out there because going to Man City, Man City is like a very big team. But at the same time, most people will want to join Man City and they're going to look, say, this case where they get to the FA, with the EPL gets, wait there for the independent commission hand now. Nobody knows the way where the case will swing to. They feel give them relegation. Yeah, they feel give them minus 30 points. Like they need to give them a severe punishment because they won't use them as an example. They won't even set example for the remaining people that will touch lights when they look them again. So we never know how the punishments could be. So most people go on join them, they're gonna look them. Look at what is happening to Juventus now. In the summer, there will be an exodus with the year saying. Manchester United and Aston won't go back for Flower Witch for the summer. Many, many people go won't go for there. People like Paulo Dybala will come up for Juve, can go join Roma. They go, they happy now. She's a little kid here. They face all those brahaha. So, more just to watch as everything will go. But keep it in your mind, say, people like Kirian Tierney, at the end of the summer, they may swap ship. Yes. And one of the attractive destinations for him is the Etihad. More just to watch as it be. Our Paul Messi himself, don't come as I call the talk, say, Arsenal will defeat Brentford. For the Emirates on Saturday afternoon, where they go play. Say he's seen a 2 1. But me, I will see something different. That match will be a very, very tight affair. And there is a record or a history of bitterness between Arsenal and Brentford. Don't think, say, they don't forget all those, you know, all those nice kick about the boys. We give them a go the post, we serve the post, then the post with the post, all those things. Don't think they are forgotten these things. It will be for their head. They will come here to come make sure they beat us so that they will laugh us also to post and for our garden. We said we won't maintain our momentum because we have lost two games back to back in all competitions. It will be very, very disastrous for us to lose a third one, especially when Man City is playing and Aston Villa at Etihad that they can destroy. So we said we need to win this particular game. When we check Brentford last five games, oh my god, they high fly, you know, they defeat people. They don't win like four, draw one, or win or win three. I, I saw it, they are playing very, very well. But while our saving base is the Etihad, this season has been our fortress. We destroy people here. We, we beat people like Small Picking for this place. So much as the watch has to be. I just the place say we we'll win, but it's going to be a very, very tight encounter because no money for uptown again. No. Nobody is going to come play. So my dear football lovers, if you don't watch this place, you check the top left corner of the screen. You see the thumbnail. Click after that, you get all Arsenal updates as they drop all over the world. So start signing out. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll get them out.